always a pretty exciting day in the field. Uh, today we captured a, an individual that's never been captured by a human before. Um, captured in a new wetland that was only discovered to harbor a large for the population just last year. We know that there are five individuals in this site, and now this is uh, the sixth. The southeastern United States is a hot spot for freshwater turtle diversity within North America and uh, actually even in the world. The bog turtle is perhaps the, the rarest reptile in North America, which makes this area uh, fairly significant. The bog turtle is currently protected in all states in which it occurs, and the northern populations are federally listed as threatened, and in Georgia the, the, the species is listed as endangered. Bog turtles have become increasingly rare simply because their habitat has become increasingly rare and loss of habitat has been the major factor in bog turtle declines. Within the current fragmented landscape there no longer exists the network of mountain bog habitats of differing successional stages necessary to naturally perpetuate bog flora and fauna over time. Conservation uh, of the bog turtle consequently must incorporate active management of bog habitat and bog turtle populations on both private and publicly owned lands. This is a female turtle, which is, a, is also a good thing for the survival species. Um, females obviously are the only, only sex that can lay eggs and um, in order to perpetuate the species we need a number of uh, egg producers. You can tell that she is a female because of the size of her tail, the size and the shape. It's a relative characteristic, but if, um, if this were a male, the tail would be approximately this long. The cloaca would, would be behind uh, the carapace, and there would be an, an indentation in the, in the plastrum. In this case, um, all indications are it is a female. One of the reasons that we capture bog turtles and look for additional populations is to support our efforts of uh, head starting and reintroduction. We hope to capture a number of gravid females, which is to say females that are pregnant, that harbor eggs and have not laid them yet. In this case, this female appears to be uh, of significant age. She is sexually mature, and she would be capable of, 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 um, of being gravid and laying eggs this year. But Palpation indicates that she does not, in fact, have eggs. So this individual will be released today. It's the smallest turtle in North America, and it's unique in that it has a vivid orange spot on the neck. No other turtle ha quite has that appearance. It's quite, a, quite an attractive turtle. Um, there are reddish markings on the legs and lighter skin under the shell. The shell, if clean, has a mahogany starburst pattern in each, in each scoop. But the nature of the bog substrate makes for a rather um, covered shell. This material is uh, iron oxide that collects on the shell. And uh, often another um, way that we can identify this animal um, is incidental scars that the, the turtle may have acquired throughout its life. In this instance, this turtle's carapace has two individual um, scars or injuries that have healed. One is a, a missing marginal and a crack, and another missing marginal. This perhaps happened from a, a bite from a snapping turtle. It's hard to say but we can record those. This in conjunction with the shell notching and the pit tag will allow us to definitively ID uh, this individual in the future. And the diagram of the turtle shell. They're often referred to as the smallest and rarest uh, reptile in North America. I have here a spring scale. We're going to get a weight. Its maximum capacity is it's only 300 grams or 10 ounces. So that gives you some idea um, of the size of an uh, animal we're, we're dealing with. So the easiest way to do it is to use a trusty 
Ziploc bag. Although this is not the turtle's favorite experience, it's not that intrusive. Notch to be cut into the edge of the shell into these marginal scoots. Um, a combination of marks indicate an a individual number. In this case, um, this, this scoot corresponds to number one, this to two, this to four, this to seven, this to ten, twenty, forty, and seventy. So combinations of those numbers um, add up to your your individual um, identif identification number. There are no nerve endings in this tissue. And you, you can see that there's no blood. Um, I'm sure it, it's not the most pleasant experience probably like going to the dentist <laughs> there are some some vibrations that go on but um, I'll go just deep enough that uh, this won't be mistaken for a wear and tear of the field the tag is a uh, is an acronym it stands for passive integrated transponder it's a small um, computer chip it's uh, the very same type of uh, computer chip that are implanted in pets, dogs and cats, um, that are put on a national registry The pet is lost. It's a, not the same program, obviously, but it's the same technology. And the tag will uh, send back a signal. And the signal is a 10, a 10 digit, if you will, alphanumeric code that's unique. The pit tag will go into the abdominal cavity of the turtle. Um, the anatomy of a turtle is, is not uh, terribly different as far as internal organs from a, a mammal uh, in that its liver is on this side of its body and the lobe, uh, one of the lobes of the liver extend um, fairly uh, far down into the cavity so we want to avoid this side. We'll put it on, always put the pit tag on this side of the individual turtle. We'll insert the, the pit tag uh, through the skin and into the cavity just under just subcutaneously and that's where the pit tag will stay. Pit tag is now inserted in the needle. to show you how um, little um, injury pain we've inflicted um, there's no actual blood um, from the wound um, some cases that actually occurs but that should be some indication that um, the turtle has not not been harmed having an individual mark is, is, is well worth uh, this procedure this is used in a number of um, a number of species uh, perhaps most notably in, in sea turtles and uh, even large turtles like alligator snapping turtles. We'll release female number six uh, close to the capture site. 